Well, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. And remember, if you feel lonely, no worries. Jesus is with you even if you feel like he's not there. But um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. You know, my day's going well. Just cold over here in California, you know. <laughs> Hard to get out of bed. It's really cold. You know, I'm drinking our hot cocoa, our chocolate, and our coffees over here. <laughs> it's cold, but you know, I still... I'm getting up to make this beautiful video and I am titling today's video the Lamb of God and um, yeah this video for today is 12 3 20 which is for today I hope you guys are doing well had a wonderful day and like I said if you guys feel lonely no worries God is with you guys even if you don't feel it he's with you he's there guarding you and, um, yeah, guys, uh, what I say, usually, please and thank you, guys, let me know if you guys need any prayers, you know, comment down below, and I'll pray for you, your situation, or what you would like me to pray for, you know, and, um, like I always say, please and thank you, don't forget to check out the saved one. And uh, Eden Uncut for gamers. And the saved one, my sister, she does um, Bible verses straight out of the Bible and uh, Christian poetry. That's all I had to say for today. Now let's get into our quotes. So, excuse me if I mess up a little. Wrote a little fast <laughs> and small. But anyways, so for number one, I wrote, My grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 9. And I chose this one because God is telling us here that His grace is sufficient for us. You know? And His power is made perfect in weakness. So as we are weak, He is making us stronger. And that is when God glorifies Himself, when we are most weak. So he's sitting here glorifying in my life and in your life if you're feeling weak. Don't worry. God is going to come through for you even if you don't feel it. Number two, I wrote, For no one can lay any foundation other than the one we already have, Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 3.11 And I chose this one because, you know, there's no other foundation better than Jesus Christ. We should always lay down the foundation of Jesus Christ first. And things will go great and smooth. And also, we should always put God first in everything before we take a decision. So He can guide us and see if the plans we are making are His plans. But yeah, guys. Number three. You know, I chose a quote that says, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John 1, 29. And I chose this one because who is that? Jesus Christ. That's who it is. The Father sent down His Son to wash away our sins in this world and the desires of the world so we could come to God and be with God only and his beautiful son Jesus Christ that's who it was and that's who it is and will always be king of the world king of the earth no matter if nobody likes it or not but you know just read it straight how it is you know but, um, yeah, guys, I encourage all of you guys to, you know, read the Bible, you know, come to God. Our Father is coming soon, you know. And um, I know a lot of us say that, and some of you people think we're crazy, but, you know, I see it that way because a lot of symbols and things are going on in the world. 
that just look like some signs that are saying Jesus is coming soon. And it's true, you know. Jesus is coming back for his church. And, you know, that's why we are standing here showing you guys the light. The way of the light so you could come out of the darkness, you know. Because God is coming back for a church. You know, and like I always say, you know, he loves all of us. He loves the whole world. We're his creation. How can he not love you? But, you know, he does not love our sins. It says that sin is the penalty of death, you know. But um, that's about it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please and thank you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the little bell for more notifications when I post more. And share, 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 share. Because like I said, I make these videos to encourage you and I. You know, I'm helping me and I'm helping you. You know what I mean? Well, that's what I hope. Hopefully it helps you, you know. Because that's what I want to spread. The love of God and, you know, to make me feel better and to make you feel better as well with some uplifting words. But um, that's all I have to say for today, guys. Now let's get into our lovely prayer. Let me look at my notes here. What I wrote, what I want to pray for today. All right. Sorry, guys. I was reading my little note. But um, before I start my prayer, I'd like to say once more, please and thank you. Don't forget to comment down below if you guys would like me to pray for you or your situations or your family or whatever the issue is. Let me know in the comments and I will pray for whatever situation you would like me to pray for. All right. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I would like to pray and say first off that we love you, we praise you, and we adore you. Forgive us for all of our senses and everything bad we've done, said, or committed in any shape or form. We've offended you. Forgive us, Father. We are very unperfect and unholy. Only you are holy. You're our king. Please, my Lord, get rid of every single seed that we have in our lives, Father, that still keeps us father from doing better but please and thank you father get rid of every seed father that is bad in our lives and grow beautiful great seeds father we only want to be in your path no world or nothing like that father now father i would like to pray and say please and thank you take care of the people with covid19 heal them heal the people in the hospitals who are sick father from other sicknesses Heal, Father, if you would like the people who are having terminal sicknesses, that they have a few days or a few months of life, Father. Become a beautiful testimony in their lives, Father. Heal them if you would like to give them more life. But if you take them with you, bless their souls, Father, in heaven. I'd also like to pray and say, Father, please help the people going through eviction, rent and money struggles father please help every single one of us going through all these situations father please help the homeless out there the animals and children and women and men anybody being abused at this point in time father please stop those abusers and let them remember that there's a god seeing everything and let them come to you and apologize and for the people being abused hug them father and let them see that you're with them my lord and that they're not alone, that you're right there standing with them, and that you will make something beautiful out of their lives. As well as the people out there who are single parents, Father, struggling in life, please give them strength and help them and their children. Please provide for every single one of us in the world who are having money struggles and any other bad situation in our lives, my Lord. Also, Father, please and thank you, Help everybody out there, Father, going through any type of depression and anxiety, Father. Please rip those chains and descend them to the abyss where they belong, Father. You are the king of the world, Father. And you're the only one that could do these miracles and healings and help us through it all. Thank you for always being with us and thank you for always sending angels to guard our lives. Thank you for everything else, my Lord. We love you, we praise you, and we adore you. Please and thank you also, Father. Take care of everybody in the world, Father. That is my prayer for today. We love you and we praise you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.
Well, alright guys, that's about it for today. Much love and respect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't think you comment down below if you would like me to pray for anything or your family or any situation you're going through. Also, please don't thank you once more. Don't forget to check out The Saved One, a Christian channel. And Eden Uncut, she's a gaming channel. Alright guys, much love and respect. God bless y'all and God is with you guys no matter what. Let's keep fighting till the end, sons and daughters of God. Blessings.